we're going to create a 3D logo with some text that we can use as a 3D motion graphics for a video piece. So it'll look something like this. So let's get started. In Photoshop, we're going to go ahead and get started with File, New. We're going to select the preset Film and Video this time. And go ahead and name it, your last name. Three D video. The background should be transparent and everything else should stay the same. So for right now we're gonna go ahead and close the timeline tab and we're gonna start with our layers. So the first thing I want to do is create a shape that's going to look like a logo. Uh, this can be anything you want. You can go ahead and just be creative and try to put together maybe a couple of shapes if you like. I'm going to use my custom shape tool, which is this one down here in my toolbar. It's the one that looks like a little blob. And if I go up here to where it says shape at the top of the screen, I can click that open and see what shapes are available to me. If you don't see a lot of shapes here, you can select this little gear looking thing click on that and then go down to where it says all and that should open up a bunch of other shapes for you. So I'm going to just uh, maybe use this circle to start with and go over here to my screen. It'll ask you if you want to create something right away. Um, I want to have more control with it so I'm going to hit cancel here. I'm going to hold my shift key on my keyboard and make a perfect circle so I can make this shape that sort of looks like a just a perfect circle. Inside there I want to go ahead and put something else so I'm going to find something else that I might want to put in there. Do not grab something that is really complicated. Make something uh, a little bit more simple. For example, I'm going to use this five leaf clover here. And I'm just going to hold my shift key again and try to make, um, actually what I want to do is, is create a new layer. So I'm going to make a new layer for this particular shape because I don't want it to be merged with this yet. So. I create a new layer and I'm going to go ahead and make another shape. And I want to make sure that I'm able to have control in aligning this shape into this logo however I want. So here I go, I put it right in the center and that looks pretty good for me. So now that I have it exactly the way I want, then I can go ahead and merge these two shapes together. So I'm going to go ahead and select, hold down my shift key and select both of these layers and merge those two shapes together. So that you, as you can see, it's only one layer now. Uh, next thing I want to do is create a layer with some text. So I'm going to go ahead and make a text box down here. My text I'm going to make, um, I'm going to use a little bit of a different color. Uh, as you can see, my shape is black. And you can use whatever colors you want, but I do definitely suggest that you use two different colors. Contrasting colors would work best, maybe one dark and one lighter. Uh, in this particular case, I'm going to use uh, red for the text. So. Let me just say, uh, I'm going to just name this off the top of my head, Clover Rims. Just assuming that there might be like a company out there that looks like a zip. That shape that I made turned out to look like a rim for a car, like rims for a car. So um, so let me write Clover Rims Company. So um, and what I want is for both of these shapes to be pretty well aligned to the center as good as possible. I'm going to bring my um, my word down a little bit here so it kind of looks like it's in the center more. I want to try to align it to the center as good as possible. Uh, one way you can do that is if you go over here to your um, rulers on the top or on the side and you can line it up to the center by grabbing, uh, pulling from that ruler, from the on top of that ruler, it should snap right to the center of this piece right here, right? It should snap to the center of your um, canvas. As you can see, it created a, a line that goes right through the center of the canvas. And then from this side, I can come over and snap one vertically to the center of my canvas. So it should kind of snap on there. Once I have that there, then I can go ahead and grab the things that I have on my project here and snap it right to the center as well. So that one snaps to the center and my text should be fairly well snapped to the center now. 
So that's how I can create uh, something that's right, right smack in the middle where it's supposed to be. So we have our logo. In our next video, we're going to go ahead and start to make these 3D shapes.